Combs Chapel, home of hope. Hello and praise the name of the Lord. I trust God, the grace of God have been sufficient unto you. I trust the presence of God have taken care of you. God richly bless you, even as you watch and listen to this broadcast. My name is Rev. Daniel Moriah. I love Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. I want to share briefly about treasuring the Word of God. Treasuring the Word of God. I know there are so many controversies around the world and even in African context. Sometimes we have the teaching of the elders, the teaching of traditions, and they are exalted above the, the Word of God. Let us go into the book, of, into the book of Matthew, the book of Matthew chapter 15, and verse 1 to verse 3. And Jesus, the Bible says, Then came uh, to Jesus uh, scribes and uh, Pharisees, uh, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do the disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? Why do the disciples transgress the tradition of the elders? For, for they wash not their hand when they eat. But he answered unto them, why do you also transgress the command, uh, commandment of God by your tradition? By your tradition. And Jesus asked them, Why do you also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? You see that there was a controversy that the elders of the land were in disagreement. The elders of the, uh, the elders of the uh, of, of, of the time they were in disagreement with the word of God. They had upheld the tradition of men. And this is what is happening even in our, in our country and even in our African context. There are some people who are feeling that the traditions of men, the tradition of their fathers, are more superior than the word of God. So they, the disciples, the scribes and the Pharisees went to Jesus and asked him, Jesus, why are your disciples? Why are Christians today are progressing the tradition of elders? And Jesus Christ asked them and challenged them. And this is the word he asked them. Then, for why are you, why are you also transgressing the command of God by your tradition? In other words, Jesus Christ was answering a simple question. That when there is a contradiction, when there is a challenge between the traditions and the word of God, the word of God is superior. When we, the word of God and the, the tradition of men, they are in controversy somehow or they are in disagreement, the word of God is the superior. My brother, I want to ask you a simple question. Between the word of God and tradition of men, what is, what is uh, superior in your life? When you feel that somebody comes unto you and tells you that the reason why you are suffering is because of tradition of men, you are not fulfilled. When they come and tell you, you are not slaughtered, maybe a goat, or maybe there is something you are not done. And they come and tell you, that is why you are suffering. That is why there is a problem in your life. That is why there is a problem in your marriage. That is why there is a problem with your health. Now, you, you feel fearful. And you feel as if there is some tradition of elders or traditions of the people that you need to fulfill. Jesus Christ had the same controversy. The disciples, the Christians, it seemed as if they, they were above the law, or they were above the law of elders. And Jesus Christ answered them and said, My brothers, the scribes, the Pharisees, why do you also transgress the command of God by your tradition? Why do you transgress? How many of us they have walked out of faith because they do not treasure the word of God? How many of us they have walked out of faith? They are doing things which are contrary to the word of God. How many of us, even priests, that we have gone, uh, we have gone beyond? We are valuing the things of men. We are seeing the things of men are more superior. Our Kiku traditions, our African traditions, we see them as if they are superior to the word of God. And Jesus Christ is also challenging us today also. Why are you disobeying? Why are you transgressing the commands of God, or the, for the sake, or for the uh, for the sake, of, uh, for the sake of your tradition? Do you remember? This is the same question that uh, the Mark reported and said in Mark seven eight. Uh, why do you let go of the commandment of God? Why do you let go of commandment of God, and you are holding onto the tradition of men? Why are you letting go? of the commandment of God and then and you are holding to the tradition of men. 
This is the word that the Lord is ministering unto us at this hour. That when it comes to the word of God, when it comes to the word of God, it is superior than any other thing. The word of God is superior than tradition of men. The word of God, it is superior than any word that was spoken by our fathers. It is superior. We cannot sin against God by assuming that we are obeying our, the, our tradition. We cannot take the word of God inferior to the tradition of man. I want to ask you a question. Are you, do you treasure the word of God? Hey, do you obey the word of God? Do you feel just like the way the, the author of Proverbs say, the author of Proverbs say, and this is the, in the book of Proverbs chapter uh, 6, verse 20 to 23. And this is what uh, the author said. My child, keep your father's commandment and, uh, and not forget not your mother's teaching. Buy them upon your neck. I will always tie them around your neck. When you walk, they will lead you. When you lie, lie down, they will watch over you. And when you are awake, they will, will talk to you. I want to ask you, who does he talk to you when you are asleep? When you are walking, what is, does he talk to you? Is it the tradition of man? Is it the African culture? Is it the tradition of man? This is a question that I desire that you can ask yourself. The Lord is saying that treasure my word. And if you treasure my word, then I will treasure you. If you treasure the traditions, then you are going to have a downfall. May God bless you, may God favor you, and may God establish you. And I want to part with a parting shot. Between the tradition of men and the commandment of God, what is superior to you? God bless you and God do you good. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We honor your name. Because my father of answering the question to us and concerning the tradition of men and even your word, when they are like my father, Jehovah, King of Glory, we are in, they, 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 they are in contra, contradiction. Your word is above it. Help us to value your word. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you and do you good. Amen. Calms Chapel, home of hope.